Hi guys, Hub and I are loading up. We just left Sam's. Babe, you think that bread is good up there? Um, I can take it on the front seat with me. Um, just kind of getting a few essentials. We have, we tried to stay in as long as we could and we had to get some food. We were going down fast. Got water, washing powder. And just some essentials. And so, um, yeah. My daughter, she um, definitely had wanted to go for us, but I think it's much, we, we can be much quicker because we can get in and get out. But anyway, we gotta go home and then we will let you all see everything that we have. Okay. I will say this, this is a beautiful day. Um, you know, we to get out and that's what we're doing. We haven't been out, had, have not had the sun on our face. Maybe how long has it been? I don't know. Maybe mm. three to four weeks we have been in the apartment. And like I said, that's fine with us. We're just getting out because we have to replenish our food and milk and things. But anyway, guys, I hope that you all are doing good. We're going to go down and get home. And I will follow back up with you. Um, probably just do a little haul to just let you see what we got. And just talk to you about the whole experience here in our area. Uh, we're shopping here um, Like I said, I've never ever shopped. I don't know if I said I think I have the camera on I never shop at Sam's before But to try to go home and do this expeditiously I went on and got a Sam's court <sighs> guys so hubby and i are on our way back uh, from the store it was not that bad it was the store we did plan to so we had a couple of strategies that we used um about shopping and going out to the grocery store to pick up groceries to pick up pharmacy items anything we need to pick up and one of those were first we tried going when the store first opened it was our experience uh, when the store first opened we went to walmart and uh, they had nothing on the shelves. We thought, you know, we they had stocked up. So we're finding that when we go early, stuff is not necessarily stocked up. And um, we also, I'm, a, I'm trying to get out of his way. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so we're finding when we go early, stuff is not necessarily stocked up. We also, um, so that, that was really a bus um and then the half the stuff we needed they did not have it um it was crazy it was it was crazy so uh this time which is almost four weeks later or three weeks three and a half weeks later we decided to try to go in the middle of the day like about 10 o'clock when a lot of people are probably working or not up and um, that is what we did. And so we were on our way to a grocery store, but then we saw the Sam's Club. And um, I wanted to make sure if they had their prices the same, and luckily they did. So um, that worked for us. We went in there, there was not that many people in there. The people in there definitely were not trying to be all up under each other. And almost everybody had masks. Um, and you know so that is one good thing and so now we're back at home and we're gonna go i'm gonna do a kind of do try to do a haul don't hold me to it guys i'm gonna try to do a haul and then um we can talk about and i want to know from you guys how you adjust into this whole thing we can explain to you how hub and i are adjusting as well okay guys so i'm on my way back again okay so guys we are back at home um this is what we got i got some lemons some bell peppers came home the first thing i did is of course i thoroughly washed my hands 
I washed my hands and then I took my mask off and I washed my hands again. I know that it seems like a little extra, but you know what? If it comes between you spreading this germ and contaminating yourself, it's worth it. So um, I got some bell peppers, some lemons, some bananas. Uh, hubby loves his tater tots. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, 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 Hubby gonna get his, his stuff he loves. I could not find pork chops. That's what I wanted, but I've got some baby back ribs here. There are three slabs in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break them all up. Um, got some shrimp, two packs of chicken wings, one pack of chicken breast. That'll be broke up. That'll be broke up. That'll be broke up. Um, got some sausage. Uh, let's see here. Some raspberry lemonade, a gallon of milk, and let me just go on over here. I got some bread, coffee, Parmesan cheese. I'm doing a lot of pasta dishes. And we got some, some chips, you know. So we got that too. Paper towel, toilet paper, some washing powder. I got that gang, um, the Myers clean day because I really prefer to clean with Myers. But of course, I got my disinfectants. That's after I've been disinfected. Um, and see, like I've been out today, I will do a disinfectant. And I'll show you all what I use to disinfect with. Um, got some dishwashing detergent and some Ziploc bags to divide all these meats up with. I do not like to go back and in and out the store. So I just kind of see this is replenishing what we have. And when I looked at our freezer, even though we have some things in the freezer, uh, it is getting pretty low. So, um, you know, it's just, that's broccoli. Uh, that's grits. There's a bag of shrimp. This is mashed potatoes. But as far as uh, I do have a pack of ground meat, some smoked sausage for my red beans and stuff. Um, yeah, so it, it, it was getting pretty low. And we, uh, and I don't, you know, I've been cooking. Um, I didn't need to get eggs. I have eggs now. I have a tons of veggies and fruit. I'll let you all see. Yeah. Tons of veggies. See, like, I gotta clean all this out, so that needs to be thrown up. But I have my ginger, I have bell peppers. I cook with a lot of uh, bell peppers, so that's already here. I still have meats, like, I have my um, smoked sausage and bacon and stuff like that. Tons of leftovers, baby. This is, if this is ever time to cook and stretch your dollars, this is the time to do it. Came home and I took off this. Had, had to put a scarf on. The only reason why is because, yeah, you know, I just, my hair is not presentable right now. But my goal that I'm about to do now is, um, you know, try to put away uh, these groceries that I have here. I'm definitely trying to stretch my dollars. And so that is one of the reasons why I had a plan before I went out. I had my list. Um, um, I don't buy, I just, I look at stuff, how much it costs per pound to make sure, like I wanted some veggies, I wanted some whole green beans, and um, they were $7 and something at Sam's. Well, a lot of times, and not down recently, because a lot of stuff is not on sale anymore. Be clear about that. So you got to be very careful. So a lot of times you can get veggies like 99 cent a bag of a pound, right? Um, not really whole green beans. I kind of wish I'd have got them, but you know, look, I did what I did, made a decision. And so if I get five bags, that's what's in the pack at um, Sam's, that would have been five dollars. So I know that's not a lot, seven dollars and forty-eight cents, but if you continue to do that, it will stretch your dollars out. And that's what I've been are trying to do. Um, you know, these are really stressful times, and you can't just think about yourself. You gotta also Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. Somebody said something. You got to also think about other people. You got to make sure that um, you never know who may actually need some a meal. And so you want to try to just think about other people. Try to stretch it out as far as you can. Uh, try to eat as less as you can. That's what we're trying to do. And trust me, y'all know how I, mean, I love to eat. We love to cook. Um, you know, and just do stuff like that. Um, be patient with people, guys. This is a stressful time. Maybe people might not be handling everything the way you like them to handle it. Um, excuse me, guys. People may be doing what you think is too much or not enough. I have family members doing too much. I have family members, I think, not doing enough. I still have to be patient with them because 
a lot of people are dealing with these things the way they like to do deal with it and they they're saying the same thing about me they'll say i'm doing too much or something like that so um let's just try to be patient let's exercise those fruits of the spirit we need that um because then we become part of the problem instead of the solution let me know how things are going um you know if you need me to pray for you let me know uh, we pray how i pray for everybody but any special prayer requests let me know anything um, just want to check on you guys. Hubbard and I are making it. We're making it, um, you know, and trying to keep ourselves busy, trying to set new uh, ways of doing things to make it, um, imp you know, impact on us. Um, we definitely um, are concerned about We miss our grandbabies. We miss hugging our family members. We miss a lot of things.
All right, guys. So I have the ribs in the oven. Got a lot done, but I want to share with you how when I wipe down my counters. <clears throat> So every day I wipe down the counter, it's really good, you know, when I'm cooking or cleaning, but I have my disinfecting wipes, I'll come back over the counters with that. Um, and this is just a, uh, the Walmart brand, this and I got what was available, disinfecting wipes, it cleans 99% of bacteria and viruses. Um, also, I have this. This is my heavy hitter. This is when I'm basically thinking that, you know what? They do a really good clean. This and the Clorox is what I'll go to. The Lysol concentrate, I've been using that for years. Um, so, you know, it's good to um, mix. You dilute it with water. You just follow your instructions on the back of the bottle. And uh, it, it does a lot. Um, so I use that as well. I definitely pick this up because I love it. Um, this is when we have a normal day. Hub and I've been in the house for weeks, and I'm just doing a little minor cleaning. This three pack was at Sam's for nine ninety nine or nine forty nine, and it has the dish soap, the hand soap, and the multi surface cleaners. Um, that is fine, like I said, when we are between cleaning. But like a day like today, when I'm bringing in groceries, I've been dealing with a lot of raw meat. Um, we definitely need to do a good wipe down. So I did the wipe down the counters and I came back um, with my disinfectant wipes. And then I'm going to, you know, do this definitely of the whole kitchen. I'm going to do that. Guys, I forgot. Uh, also, my Lysol disinfectant spray. So uh, it's also something that I use. And um, don't forget Old Faithful Bleach. But I'm about to open this box, um, and of course, after I finish doing my uh, disinfecting clean, because I have to mop and continue to wipe down. All right, guys. See you later.